everybody, it's 75 Flame talking, and yes, I am going to continue Ruby, because you know what? I have realized I'm way, way too behind on uh, on this series, and like, people are already going on with the Volume 4, so I have to like, I have to begin rubbing it, and like, uh, try to catch up as fast as possible. So I am trying to, uh, going to try and put out as much Ruby as possible, maybe some videos where I look at two episodes at once. Uh, but either way, I am going to try and catch up to Volume 4 as fast as possible. As well as another series I've been neglecting for some weird reason re uh, recently. I'm also going to try and come back to Death Battle. Uh, going to find out how I'm going to schedule that out. It's just the problem is I have so many things that I want to that I want to watch. Uh, but I also have to like make sure that I catch that I am catching up with everything else. So I have to like balance it out. But for now. Let us just return to the series that I know most people are waiting for, and that is Ruby, which is the, in this case is Volume 2, Chapter 8, Field Trip. So I guess after that uh, pretty adorable ball, uh, the gang and the school in general is probably going out on some kind of field trip. Let's find out as we watch Ruby, Volume 2, Chapter 8, Field Trip. 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> And also, I am very sorry for the fans who are very annoyed that I that I forget things sometimes. For example, that I forgot Sean's promise uh, in the last episode. But I will try to like. It's it's only natural that I will try to remember everything and like keeping up. Like for example, how can I forget Cinder's name? Like I even try to make sure that I remember it the first time I heard it, but then it somehow it somehow slipped my mind last episode. But yeah. Going to make sure that one, that I keep up with the show and see more of it, and two, that I actually remember the things being said. I'm trying. I'm going to make sure of that. Please don't crucify me if I forget anything else from now on. All right. Let us see what kind of field trip they we'll now. were here. Ospin, they were here. We are very much aware of that. Thank you, James. Fantastic. You're aware. Now, are we going to do something about it, or should we just stay the course and continue to ignore what's right in front of us? Come in. Sorry it took so long. Someone accidentally hit all the buttons on the elevator on the way up here. It wasn't me. Thank you for coming, Ruby. I could imagine. How well, yeah, she's probably called okay, up because she I tried guess. to attack Cinder. I'd feel better if my bad guy catching record wasn't 0 for 3. Okay, so that's the tone we're going for, guys. Yeah, no time for jokes, really? sadly. I feel it's appropriate to let you know that I think what you did last night is exactly what being a huntress is all about. You recognized a threat, you took action, and you did the very best you could. Thank you, sir. Now, the general here has already informed us of the events that transpired last night. But now that you've rested, we were wondering if you had anything to add. Okay. Was anyone else with her? Did she look familiar to you at all? I... I don't know. She was wearing a mask. And she never said anything to me. But I know she fought with glass. I don't think that was her semblance, though. Her clothing lit up whenever she attacked. Save for the glass. That sounds like the woman I fought the night we met Ruby. Embedding dust into clothing is an age-old technique. It could have been anyone. Wait. You think this girl's connected to Torchwick and the White Fang? It's possible. Yeah, trying to figure everything out. But Good work. But we still lack the required evidence to link the two together. Yeah, I need some more evidence. Actually, I... I think I remember her saying something about a hideout or something... in the southeast. Just outside the kingdom. Interesting. I thought you said the intruder never... Thank you for your cooperation, Ruby. Why don't you go and spend some time with your team? You have a big day ahead of you. Anytime. And Ms. Rose, please try and be discreet about this matter. You're asking Ruby to be discreet. I can't help but think like it's not going to happen. <laughs> Jesus! Uh, well, um, hey, freaking! I thought this school of hunters okay. and hunters is not jump scares. As many troops as we can to the southeast. Ruby's house of jump scares. Exactly what's going on, and eradicate any forces that stand in our way. 
Why must your answer to everything involve a triumphant display of military bravado? You treat every situation like it's a contest of measuring... Glinda. Well, he does. Oh, right. damn! As much as I, too, would love to end this situation once and for all, we must remember that this may go beyond Vale, beyond Beacon. And if this truly is part of some master plan for which we know not the final move, we mustn't be so bold, nor can we risk the spread of panic. I have served you faithfully for years. But if you mean to tell me that your plan is to merely hold the defenses and wait... It is not! You're a general, James. So tell me, when you prepare to go to war, which do you send in first? The flag bearer or the scouts? That was a risky move. No, I think you handled it well. I hope so. I'm sure everything will be all right, Ruby. Yeah. Oh, I know what will cheer you up. What's that? What? I don't know yet. Dad sent it to us. I thought we could open it together. Okay, Ruby is seriously adorable sometimes. But the, it's it's moving. A dog? Why? He said a dog in the mail. How? Oh, he does stuff like this all the time. Your father, or your dog. Are you telling me that this mangy, drooling mutt? Is going to win with us forever? Oh yes, he is. Yes, he is. I knew she was going to like him. And did did Ruby say Spike? All first year students, please report to the amphitheater. Well, we can't exactly leave him here while we're gone for a week. Look, there's a letter. Dear girls, I've got to leave the island for a few days, so I'm sending Zwei to you to take care of. And close is all the food you should Of course, Blake doesn't like him. <laughs> what is he Jesus. Doing with that? Well, that settles it. Come on, girls. Zoya will be here when we get back. Oh, I'll miss you so much. We're going to be best friends. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs> I like the fact that Blake is just keeping as much distance from him as possible. And I didn't catch the name. It's very weird. Like, Zoya something? Quiet. That Quiet, time I, I didn't remember. I just didn't hear it clearly. There's a big difference. Oh, that's how I read uh, field trip is. Gather all the bags in one big pile, and suddenly your yours is missing for some Today we stand reason. Together, united, Mistral, Atlas, Vacuo, Vale, the four kingdoms of Remnant. On this day, nearly eighty years ago, the largest war in recorded history came to an end. It was a war of ignorance, of greed, and of oppression. A war that was about much more than where borders fell or who traded with whom, but about the very idea of individualism itself. We fought for countless reasons, one of which being the destruction of all forms of art and self-expression. And as you are well aware, that was something many could not stand for. As a result, those who opposed this tyranny began naming their children after one of the core aspects of art itself, color. It was their way to demonstrate that not only would they refuse to tolerate this oppression, but neither would the generations to come. Huh. And it was a trend that is held to this very day. We encourage individuality, expressionism, and unity through diversity. As I have said, today we stand together, united. But this bond cannot exist without effort. Which is why today, while the rest of the world celebrates peace, Huntsmen and huntresses will work to uphold it. As first-year students, you will be tasked with shadowing a professional huntsman or huntress on a mission. Some of you may be taken out of the kingdom for several days. Others may work within the walls for the rest of the week. But no matter which path you choose, remember to be safe, remember your training, and remember to do your very best. Nice speech. This nice speech. Perfect. All we have to do is shadow a huntsman working in the southeast. Yeah, we'll follow them around by day and give them the slip at night. Let's check search and destroy. Then, go and see where you will go. Here we go. Quadrant 5 needs Grim cleared out. Well, it's in the southeast. Sounds perfect. Oh. 
Ruby. What? Wonderful. Any other ideas? We mail ourselves there. Well, that's one option. Oh. Unfortunately, we determined that the concentration of Grimm was too extreme for first year students. It seems that particular region is rather popular. In fact, I have the sneaking suspicion that the four of you will make your way there no matter which job you choose. Mm -hmm. Whatever makes you say that? I'm still curious as to how you all found yourselves at the docks last semester. <laughs> I'm interested to know how you really learned about a hideout in the southeast. Oh, really now? I certainly wonder why witnesses reported seeing robots and rose petals in a dance club some time ago. Uh, oh. Uh, well, I doubt I'll ever find the exact answers I'm looking for. <laughs> I love him. So, how about this? Instead of waiting cool headmaster. for you all to break the rules, why don't we just bend them? Oh. We won't let you down. Thank you, Professor. Do not thank me for this. Teamwork and persistence have carried you far. But you must understand, the things that await you beyond the protection of the kingdom will not care. Stay close to your huntsman at all times, and do exactly as he says. He will be leading you on this mission, and he can have you sent back to Beacon if he finds your skills to be unsatisfactory. Oh, damn. No pressure, right? So, we're going to get a huntsman we already... Thank you. But, so, we, do we get a huntsman we already know, exactly or is it someone new? But it's the truth. It's gonna be tough, but I know we can do it. Hey, Team Coffee is back. King Coffee? Oh damn! Velvet, are you okay? I'm fine. I had oh, funny girl. to look out for me. Your mission was supposed to end a week ago. What happened? N nothing happened. It was just there were just so many. Oh. Oh, but don't worry. You first years are just shadowing huntsmen, so you should be fine. Right. I should go. Be safe, okay? Does he mon bunnies, do monkeys, ca uh, cats? We've never backed down before, and we're not going to start now. Puma. Right. Besides, it won't only be us out there. We'll be fighting alongside a genuine huntsman. Yeah. Why, hello, girls. Who's ready to fight for their lives? Okay. <laughs> All right, then, chaps. Let us get out and hunt us some grim, shall we? Oh God, look at this one. Oh look at this! It's a it's a grim bear. It's a bear grim. It's what it's 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 one of the biggest, most dangerous creatures on the planet. W one swipe its course and you'll be gone. I'm gonna go touch it. <laughs> That's gonna be fun next episode. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I like the professor. He he like the headmaster. He's very good. The general is he, he's the classic like. He feels like they have to take action and like exterminate the threat before it does and he could he could do anything more. But it is a bit too rash and like you have to be careful, plan it out and be sure that where you, what you're aiming at is actually the target. I'm excited to see what's happening in the next episode. All right. Oh and there's a dog. Who didn't catch name like Swai something? I I. I'm sure you will tell me in the comments. But as always, my dear friends, thank you all very much for watching. Please tell me in the comments below what you think about the reaction, my like, about the video, my reaction, and my channel in general. Please tell me both positive and negative, so I can use it all to grow and evolve into a better entertainer for you guys. But as always, my dear friends, thank you very much for watching. My name is Johnny Fireflame, and I'll see you guys next time.